And this historic match about to get underway here at Apia Park. And the kickoff is made. And claimed by Sam Whitelock for the All Blacks. Part of this vastly experienced forward pack. Andy Ellis back in the black jersey for the first time in four years. Makes the kick downfield as the All Blacks go into challenge and it's gone back and flicked in field. Oh, loose ball. Karen Reed almost had it, but I think he knocked it on in the process. Yes, he did. Carter moves it on to Williams. Here is Piatau having a chance to stretch the legs. And again, a big hit coming in. As Charles Piatau, at least George Moala. Knocked it away, and there's some fierce tackles coming in, but offside play once more. Oh, off the post, and in it goes. Threatening to go to the left. But the three points registered, and it's six points to nil after 17 minutes. But he has a lot, a lot of luck with injuries, Luke Romano. Let's hope it's just temporary. So Brody Retallick out there as Sama win the line out. And it's crashed up by Johnny Leota. Now PC hands it on to Perez. Just an all black territory. And once again, the all black strong defense led by McCaw and Whitelock, who's been prominent. Penalty coming. As Fonto Leakey drags it out. Now PC, good running ball here, and a chance for a loafer. Oh, some shot from France. Now Hooker Arbe. And the referee will go back to the original penalty. First scoring opportunity then for Samoa in this game. And PC from a long way out. And it is a beauty. Totoli. And a scrum under pressure. And a scrum that has collapsed on this near side. Not my call. Three and two collapsing. And Census Johnson cannot believe. As Owen Franks comes up flexing the arm. Another one. For Carter, that's four so far. 12 points to three. Five. Six. Alice gets it in. Right on halfway, the All Blacks decide to take it forward, and they've got themselves a penalty. As Alice feeds it to Carter, again the flat kick from Carter, Moala coming quickly, oh, and Moala now, can he keep going, George Moala? And stretching, and he's in. Try on debut for George Moala. That was the space, as we saw in the first half, because Tuolangi is left out on his own there. The first, second, five centre for Samoa are quite tight. Instead of using the hand to get the ball there, they decided to use the boot. This time Carter got it bang on. But Moala still had a hell of a lot of work to do as he catches the ball. You can see there he has to get through one tackler, has to get rid of Tuolangi, and then two more come at him. He has the momentum, the power, and the speed to finish it. It was a beautiful kick, wasn't it, from Dan Carter. He kept his eye on the ball, and then he brushed off the wannabe tackles. Tuolangi and Nanai Williams. Big moment for George Moala. Good kick from Dan Carter. So the All Blacks get the second half underway on a high note with a converted try. Six. Scrub holds up nicely for Fotoli'i. Gives it off to PC. Now the little kick and chase. And Shira didn't quite read it. And it's been lost forward and offside. Drop 
No problems. Nobody able to curse him. So two penalties now for Tusi PC. As Fodoli hands it away. And Jack Lamb makes ground downfield. Now Fodoli. And oh, there's a big space here. And a real chance for Fosaliva. As Fodoli inside the 22. And here is an opportunity. Oh! And Fosaliva. Well, let's put the house down. Oh, has it? What? Look at them. The sea of blue has gone crazy, and rightly so. They were playing under, under advantage Samoa, but they certainly didn't want to go back to the penalty. A couple of tackle busts, and then false Lever. Well, he had intent on the line. He could see that crowd in the background, and it just motivated him to the try line. Kelly in 21 at halfback. Fotoliti's popped out to first five and penalty goes against the local team. The scrum under pressure. And this might be a shot at goal. I actually, I actually feel the same as you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a shot at goal because they want to make this safe because they know it's been one heck of a battle. We see here the All Blacks have dug in on this one. Lalala continued to keep pushing. He chased his feet. Pressure certainly on the left-hand side. I think he understands the importance of that one, guys. So Carter. And it is drifting in. Yes, good kick. Dan Carter. Lands another penalty. And it's 25-16. Cowley makes the feed. Again, it's a solid all-black scrum. But they freed it away, Manu Samoa. One last hurrah, perhaps. Good defence by Weber coming back. And Kieran Reid snaps it up inside the 22 as the siren goes. And the all-blacks are going to try and run this out through Sonny Bill Williams. Can't lose the game now, so... A little bit of a spectacle to finish, perhaps, as Weber has a little doubt, but he gets nailed in close. Ball turned over. Here's Lamb. Beautiful step. Still going. Jack Lamb, what a run that was. And it's been turned over by the All Blacks. And they've got to try and keep it alive. And Natai's had enough, I think. He slams it off downfield. Into a touch it goes. And the final whistle blows. The All Blacks have the victory, but they stand for Manu Samoa as well. 25-16 the final score.